5-Minute Guide to Warplanes, the North American Aviation Mustang. Sometimes the difference between irrelevance and obscurity or fame and fortune is a matter of being in the right place at the right time. For the P-51 Mustang this was exactly the case, but for a chance meeting in 1942 the Allies might have missed out on a fantastic, long-range escort fighter, an aircraft which was probably the best Allied piston fighter of the late war period. In the late 1930s both Britain and France were looking nervously at the situation in Europe and realizing that they desperately needed to increase their air forces after a period of rundown following World War I. However their industrial bases were running at almost full capacity, so they turned to the growing industrial power that was the United States. The best American fighter of the time was likely the Curtis P-40, but a large order from the U.S. Army Air Corps meant that there was not any spare capacity. This led the British Purchasing Commission to turn to a second choice, North American Aviation in California. NAA were at the time mostly known for the NA-16 Harvard trainer, and had only made a brief foray into fighters with the NA-50 and NA-68 which were basically just armed Harvards. However, NAA had drawn up plans for a competitor to the P-40 and didn't really want to manufacture a competitor's design under license. They managed to persuade the British that they should proceed with the design proposal, now labelled the NA-73X, and a contract was signed on 23 May 1940. Just 102 days later the prototype was rolled out, son's engine, and with the wheels stolen from a Harvard. NAA used novel techniques to dramatically reduce the drag of the aircraft versus the P-40. Mainly this was the laminar flow wing recently researched by NACA, the forerunner of NASA. This wing reduced turbulence and massively reduced drag, but paid for it by having lower lift, leading the aircraft to require large slotted flaps for low speed performance. The aircraft was all metal, with wide set landing gear and a solid armament of 4.5 inch Browning machine guns and 4.3 inch Brownings. The engine was an Allison V1710 liquid, cool V12 producing 1,150 horsepower. It was supercharged, but the power fell off badly over 15,000 feet. However, the fuel capacity was nearly 700 litres, 75% more than the Spitfire, giving an endurance of around 4 hours. Despite various misadventures the prototype continued flight tests and 320 were ordered for the UK, being named Mustang in December of 1940, and the first production Mustang 1 was delivered in a crate to Liverpool docks in October 1941. The Mustang 1 was evaluated by test pilots in the UK and got a generally favourable report, it was significantly faster than a Spitfire 5B at low and medium altitude, though the smaller fighter outmanoeuvred it and even the speed score at around 25,000 feet. The reduced performance at high altitude, where most air combat at the time took place, saw the Mustang 1 being used mostly in the Army cooperation role for vital photographic reconnaissance missions, where it performed very well. However, in the US the aircraft was virtually ignored, it was a design for foreigners, though the USAAF did order 150p51 for the RAF, these had four 20mm cannon, making them the heaviest armed Mustang. They were the P-51, with no suffix to the US and the Mustang 1 to the UK. This all changed in December of 1941, while the flight test program was still ongoing and before the first batch was delivered to the UK, the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor and suddenly the US needed all the fighters it could get. Unfortunately, at the time the budget for fighters had all been spent, so NAA cooked up a scheme with the Pentagon. They fitted bomb racks to the P-51 and called it the A-36. They'd not spent all their money for dive bombers and an order for 500 was placed in April 1942. In June of the same year another order for 310 P-51A models was placed, with an improved engine and only half-inch Brownings, 50 of these made their way to the UK as the Mustang II. 
In the early war the Mustang provided sterling service in the air support role, replacing antiquated biplanes and the somewhat lackluster P-40 after its rejection from fighter command. It was a revelation. There were some worries about the similar shapes of the Mustang and the Messerschmitt 109E. So Mustang 1s carried identification bands, mainly to stop Allied ground forces shooting at them. The combat debut with the British came on 10 May 1942 with a single aircraft shooting up hangars at the airfield at Burke Plage and a goods train, and with the Americans it came in March of 1943 with camera-equipped reconnaissance aircraft. However, the Allison Mustangs, despite the success in air support, were not the aircraft that made the Mustang famous. The Allison engine was utterly unsuited to the air combat role in Europe and it was a chance invite that gave the Mustang its big break. In April of 1942 Ronald Harker of Rolls-Royce was visiting Duxford to evaluate the performance of engines not built by Rolls-Royce, this included captured German aircraft such as the Focke-Wulf 190. Harker was invited on a flight in the Mustang, and was impressed, but noted the performance at altitude was poor. He thought that the new Merlin 61, with a two-stage supercharger, might be the answer and asked the boffins at Rolls. They thought that this engine would provide a speed increase of 70 miles per hour over the Allison Mustang at over 25,000 feet, right where the performance was needed. The prospect was tempting and was tried out. Over the Atlantic NAA had seen this and decided to try the airframe with a US-built Packard Merlin. In the UK the Mustang X achieved 433 miles per hour in level flight and had a much improved time to height. NAA worked on the knowledge from the experimental Merlin Mustangs to develop the XP-51B, which became the P-51B in US service and the Mustang III in the UK. This aircraft was also produced in Fort Worth as the P-51C. The new Mustang had a rearranged nose, a four-bladed propeller, and a slightly changed radiator system. A requirement for a long-range escort fighter led to a fuselage tank being fitted to the last few hundred of the new design too, though none of the British Mustang 3s had them. With drop tanks the aircraft had over 1500 litres of fuel and could do a 1200 mile round trip to Berlin, but the centre of gravity was seriously disrupted, and pilots had to be very careful until it was empty. Merlin Mustangs first entered combat in October 1943, but an error saw them assigned to the same ground attack roles as the older Allison Mustangs. A compromise was reached between unit commanders and the aircraft were made available for escort until the type arrived in number the following year. In RAF service it was suddenly decided that the hinged canopy of the early aircraft was totally unsuited to European conditions and a bulged Malcolm hood like the Spitfires was fitted. The aircraft was used in reasonable number and defects and issues started to show, the worst of which were some structural ones in steep dives. NAA resolved to fix them and developed the P-51D. The D model was the definitive Mustang, it had a cut-down rear fuselage with a bubble canopy to improve vision, an improved armament of six half-inch Brownings, increased wing root cord, stronger main gear, and improved vertical stabilizer to counteract the issues the fuselage tank caused. The P-51D was also delivered to the RAF as the Mustang 4 or the K variant built in the Fort Worth factory as the Mustang 4A. Only one other main variant was built, the P-51H lightweight variant, which was a total redesign. But the aircraft continued to serve the U.S. into the Korean War, being redesignated the F-51 in the U.S., and even well into the Cold War multiple nations continued to use various versions of the Mustang. On one notable occasion there was even the potential for Guatemalan P-51s to go up against F-4K Phantom II's of the Royal Navy when they threatened to invade British Honduras, now Belize. Over 15,000 P-51 Mustangs were manufactured, only the Spitfire and P-47 beat it in US and UK service. 